Hi guys, welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about yet another Windows 11 25 H2 preview build, this time, of course, from the dev channel. In this video, we are talking about the build 26220.6780, as I've said, a preview build for the dev channel and 25 H2. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, a new AI feature that is only for Copilot Plus PCs. We're talking about the AI agent in settings, which Microsoft is introducing some new experiencing for. First of all, we have the recommended settings, which now allows for faster changes by showing an inline agent action for recently modified settings. And also related to search, Microsoft will now show more available results in the search flyout to discover what you're looking for and to allow you to quickly modify these settings. In cases where the settings can be adjusted further, a dialog Dialog lets you know why and provides an option to modify the settings as needed. Also related to Copilot Plus PC features, Microsoft is adding visual cues that now make key entities such as emails, tables, and more, and then light up your screen as you launch, click to do. Talking about the new drag tray, Microsoft is adding some other features to the new drag tray, which include the multi-file sharing and also the ability to use more apps and enables seamless file movement to a chosen folder if you hover it over, move to folder, which will allow you to quickly move a holder to a location. But as I've said, we're now getting the multi-file sharing support. So you can just select two files, hover over the drag tray, and then you can select, for example, your phone and other apps as well. And if you hover over more options, the window share window will open up and it will allow you to send multiple items, which is actually something pretty useful. Inside Windows Security in Windows 11, and then under the account protection, we're gonna be able to see again the administrator protection option that you can enable yet again. Also related to OneDrive, Microsoft is rolling out a new OneDrive icon in accounts in the home page section inside settings. So if we're going to accounts, we should be able to see the new OneDrive icon. In this build, Microsoft is also adding a very requested feature in my opinion, and that is the dark mode run box. You heard it right. Microsoft is stating that the dark mode run box has been added to this build, but it is on a very slow rollout. So as far as I know, no one from the people that I know in the community have been able to see this enabled. But as Microsoft is stating, this is on a a very slow rollout so we may be able to see it on our systems maybe starting from the next few builds but of course it's still good that we have this new run box and uh, Microsoft is starting to add dark mode to other parts of the Windows 11 operating system that definitely miss it let's now talk about some fixes in this build related to the taskbar and system tray Microsoft fixed an issue where pressing Windows plus numbers repeatedly wasn't cycling through the windows of an app as expected related to the file explorer Microsoft fixed an issue in the previous flight which was causing file explorer to crash a lot for some insiders. Related to the new start menu, Microsoft fixed an issue which was causing start menu to unexpectedly scroll to the top when interacting with it, and they also fixed an issue where the context menu in start wouldn't open with touch, just immediately dismissed. Related to search, Microsoft fixed an issue where searches might show unexpected text instead of the expected results and images, and also another fix if you were experiencing a large number of apps including browsers crashing the previous flight that should no longer happen with this update. Also some good news, we don't have any new known issues in this build, so in that aspect we're good to go and of course if you want to find out more information about this build you can check out the article below in the video's description or the official microsoft blog post if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to techbase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was your from techbase until next time have a nice day